Are you ready for the big one? You start with a plan. Part of the plan is putting the emergency kit together. You put the plan together, it's, it's good for any type of disaster or catastrophe that you might become a victim of. I mean, if it snows an inch in Portland, we're all stuck for days and days. We're, we're trapped, we become victims. Um, but if you've, if you've put the plan together, if you've put the kit together, and, and we're talking about food and water and medicine and some sort of identification and putting all of your valuable papers, mortgage, insurance on a disk, on a little flash drive and keeping them in a safe place. Stocking up on the essentials, putting some money aside. You know, if we don't have power for a couple of weeks, it may be that grocery stores are still open, but they can only take cash. If you've got camping gear, you're already on your way to putting together an emergency kit. The same things you use camping would go into an emergency kit. I've got my little camp stove in a central location, along with you know, the sleeping bags and the tents and the extra food and the, you know, the dehydrated food that you might get at a camping store, um, the extra flashlights, extra clothes, uh, all of the essentials that you might need. Uh, a water filter, instead of trying to put gallons and gallons of water away, you can go basically to any body of water, stick your water filter into it, and, and uh, you'll have gallons and gallons of water anytime you need it. Um, maybe collapsible water jugs, that's not a bad idea. 